Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I want to introduce you to a recipe that is a big family favorite in our house. We have two very young boys, uh, three and one, and they can be a bit tricky on the food. They're, they like to eat, but they can be a bit tricky on the food. And this recipe in particular is one that goes down an absolute storm. This is a very simple pasta dish. I'm using orzo, and we're gonna combine that with some pan-fried prawns, some courgette that's been fried off, with some peas, a creamy mixture, lots of cheese, and a good squeeze of lemon juice. The beauty of this recipe is that it feeds the entire family, so it's a fantastic one to have up your sleeve, particularly in these colder winter months when you need a little bit of lightness and a little bit of freshness. And we're gonna start off by frying off our prawns. I have my orzo cooked off, so pan has a nice bit of heat. To this, we're gonna add a little bit of oil and just a touch of butter. And straight in with those prawns. Give them a little toss and then let them sit and hit them with some salt and pepper. Now the beauty of using shellfish here is that it's only gonna take about two minutes either side just until they're nice and golden brown. And you can swap in whatever shellfish you like or you could even add whatever protein you like here, particularly when you're cooking for kids, it's all about the adaptability. And if they're not into prawns, by all means swap it out. Give them a quick toss, and once they are turned over, I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of lemon juice. Slice a lemon in half. Hit them with a squeeze of that lemon juice. And it just adds a nice little acidic bite as these cook out. So, a little bit of lemon juice, last little toss, and these are pretty much done. Okay, straight out onto a plate. Oh my goodness, look at that. We've lost a prawn, but we're good. Okay. First step of the recipe done. Prawns are cooked. Next in with more butter into the pan and we're gonna fry off our courgette. Now again, like I said, this is an adaptable recipe. So for me, if I have any leftover veggies, spinach is wonderful in here, but courgette in general is a really good all-rounder veg that can bump up your nutritional value of a dish like this. So in amongst the butter and the oil, straight in with some chopped courgette. Season it up with some salt and pepper. And give that a good toss through. I just want to fry these to take the bite out of them and that'll take a minute or two. So into this pan with our fried off courgettes, some frozen peas, a good freezer ingredient. Give them a toss through the courgettes and then once they've slightly taken on a bit of heat, we're going to go in there with some cream. And you can reduce the heat while you're doing this just to make sure that you don't curl the cream. So give that a little toss through and now you've got this gorgeous creamy action in the pan with your courgettes and your peas. All you're really looking for are those peas to thaw through and to be cooked and pretty much we are where we need to be. So it's all about seasoning from here. I've got some lemon juice, some salt and pepper and some Parmesan cheese to bring this all together. Now with a rich creamy dish like this, just a little hit of lemon is gonna make a big difference to just adding a bit of bite to it. So lemon juice goes in, give that a good mix through, and you've got this really creamy, unctuous mixture that's gonna go lovely with the orzo and lovely with the prawns. So salt and pepper in, probably a little bit less if you're serving it to younger kids. Once you've got it kind of bubbling and it starts to catch a little bit around the edges, that's a good sign to know that this is ready for the orzo. So I'm gonna get our orzo in. If you haven't come across orzo before, it is actually a pasta. Um, it kind of looks like little grains of rice, but it's a really great one to serve to kids because they love the texture of it. Give that a mix through, and you just want each of those grains of orzo to be completely coated in that creamy sauce. And I'm gonna add about half of the prawns in here as well leaving some to serve over the top. And if there's any of that resting liquid from the prawns as well, pour that in too. Give that a mix through and just look at that. You've got basically instant risotto. <laughs> now I feel I'm gonna be very controversial and add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And I know initially, you know, cheese and shellfish isn't necessarily the done thing, but it adds a lovely salty bite to this. Now, when you have it at this stage, it's all about the final touches. So worthwhile tasting it, but I just wanna add a little bit of lemon zest, which again is gonna go a long way to kind of echoing the flavor that you've already added from the lemon juice, but gives you that more intense citrus hit. So 
a little bit of that lemon zest over the top and it's really nice as well to serve this with a nice touch of that lemon over the top because it just looks visually really beautiful too. So a little bit of lemon zest in, stir through a little bit of the Parmesan cheese, controversial ingredient I know but the kids love it and we are good to go. Just as the weather starts to change, this is the sort of thing I love to make for the kids and I love to make for myself because it's just instant comfort food. Rich, creamy, and absolutely glorious. Finish them off with one or two of those freshly cooked prawns. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. Tiny hit of black pepper. A little bit of lemon zest. It just adds great color and a little bit of electric flavor to a dish like this that's rich and creamy. And lastly, the other thing I would say, if you're serving this up, even if it's not for kids, a good hit of some good quality extra virgin olive oil just to finish this off is the exact bit of brightness you need to a dish like this. For me, this is one of my ultimate comfort foods and it really does take very little time to make. Last thing to do, try it, check it, see if we're in good place. For me, that is just like simple comfort food. It's a dish that's all about the quality of the ingredients you use. Some simple, fresh seafood, some really good courgettes, or whatever veggies you want to adapt with. And then it's the finishing touches, the lemon zest, the Parmesan cheese, that good quality extra virgin olive oil, and you have a dish to be proud of. And one that hopefully the whole family will eat. <laughs> I know our boys absolutely love it. I hope your kids do too. Um, or if you don't have kids, just Make it for yourself, you'd be very happy, I promise. As always, if you want the full recipe, it's in the link in the box below, and you can check it out over my website. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. And as always, leave me a comment and let me know, is this something your family would tuck into or is this something you would enjoy solo? Either way, it's an absolute winner. Give it a go and let me know how you get on. See you soon. Gonna go back for a little bit more. Mm.